Let's check in with Court to find out what our midweek forecast holds in store. I guess best day of the week. That's right. Best day of the week to get outside. That's for sure, Kelly. And as you get a look at what we're seeing as we head in to your forecast on this Wednesday. Now your hump day is actually the peak of the slide in temperatures we're seeing. Not as hot today. Temperatures still above average, but a few cities in the valley are projected to stay in the double digits at the very least. So that's a bit of relief there. Dangerous heat is possible heading into your extended forecast late this week into this weekend. It will be dry and toasty for that weekend as well. Now a quick look outside here. I'm going to reactivate this camera. Looks like that timed out a little bit. Live look outside over the Sundial Bridge in Reading this morning. It's going to be a nice morning to get out for that stroll and it won't be quite as oppressive for the heat this afternoon, but I think it's still going to be a little too toasty for you for that stroll across the bridge later on today with triple digit heat likely for the Reading area. As far as what we're seeing for the start of your Wednesday, right now we're hovering in the mid 60s to lower 70s across the valley. 71 degrees currently for Reading, 70 in Chico. We're in the mid to upper 60s in Corning and Red Bluff. The reporting site in Orville is currently down. It's been down since yesterday. Hoping that's back up shortly. Willow's just timed out, but that's 63 degrees right now. We're seeing temperatures in the 60s to lower 70s in the foothills, 40s to 50s in our mountain zones at the moment. Winds calm this morning out of the northeast, but we're going to see the south winds kicking back in this afternoon. Get a look at this. Sustained winds up to around 10 to maybe 15 miles an hour gusts in a 15 to 20 mile an hour range for your afternoon hours today. This is going to usher in that onshore flow from the Bay Area over the Delta. The Delta breeze kicking in, keeping our high temperatures in check. Tomorrow we're not seeing that same cooling influence from the Delta breeze as the winds will be lighter. So that is going to result in temperatures trending up by a few degrees. And then on Friday, winds mostly out of the west. High pressure building back west from our east, driving the heat. Winds not as strong in the afternoon, but then Getting a little gusty Friday evening. This could be a bit of a concern for fire danger with gusts to 30 miles an hour out of the northwest Friday evening. So just keep that in mind as well. We need to be especially cautious when winds pick up, especially out of the north. Satellite and radar, your hyper local look showing clear skies across our region this morning. We still have that strong ridge of high pressure. It's been fairly persistent to our southeast, but it is flattening out a little bit more today with low pressure to its north and low pressure along the coast driving that influence from the Delta breeze into our region. High pressure off the coast, though, paired with that ridge off to our east, continuing to leave us with the sunny skies and temperatures will still stay above average and will stay dry across our region today. Our highs will just be a little closer to average this afternoon. Your hyper local future cast 8 a.m. We're seeing sunshine across the board for the valley at noon. More sunshine on the way towards your afternoon. You still need those sunglasses for your commute home. 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. It is sunny across our region. Clear skies overnight with more sunshine on tap Thursday morning through Thursday night. And then get a look at this. We will start to see some cloud cover moving inland on Saturday, but still sunny Friday. Saturday into Sunday, some clouds tracking north across our region. It's going to limit heating a little bit more so on Sunday than what we'll see on Saturday as the winds also pick up out of the south. But we're still sunny and dry early to midweek next week. High temperatures today, upper 90s to low triple digits in the northern mountains, 80s to 90s in the Sierra and Southern Cascades. Foothills in the mid 80s to lower 90s for your afternoon in the valley. Triple digit heat still likely for the northern zones. 103 degrees in Redding, 101 in Red Bluff. Upper 90s to low triple digits in the mid valley. 98 for Chico, 99 in Orville, 100 projected for Willows. Your storm tracker seven day forecast where your weekends always in view. Enjoy the just above average heat while it lasts. We'll be up to 108 degrees in Chico Friday, still 102 on Sunday, and then finally back in the upper 90s early next week. Redding, peak of the heat, 111 degrees Friday and Saturday with lows in the 70s this weekend, cooling into the lower triple digits for the start of next week's forecast.